So the blender market sale is on. Let's go through my recommendations. If you have a recommendation, leave a comment below so I can check it out and maybe pick it up. So first up, we've got the Polygon. <laughs> I, I really don't know how to say it. Now these guys have two really good add-ons that I use quite heavily. And the first one is the Botanica, where we can create some really nice natural scenes using some beautiful trees and grass and rocks assets. This is definitely a pickup. And I just seen that it's got 31,000 sales. But the other one, the Trafficker add-on, oh my goodness, there are so many high quality cars in here, it is unbelievable. And the fact that all the cars are rigged and we can quickly build animations. So the next one is B Productions. Now I've actually got three of these. I think I've got Forestation, Grass Blade and Vegetation add-ons and Transportation as well. Ah, four. This also builds in the variety of vegetation and the natural scenes that we can create. But my favorite add-on, which Grassblade is semi-based on for creating ground scenes, is the Geoscatter 5 add-on. Now I've had this add-on for quite some time and used this on many occasions, but this is one of those add-ons which will quickly improve your workflows and just get stuff done. For those of you who like to design clothing, this is one of those assets. It's no Marvelous Designer, because Marvelous Designer is a specific application, but the development cycle is constantly ongoing and it's getting better and better with more iterations. I will do a video on this coming up and let's revisit what it looks like now. Now, Perspective Plotter, if you're one of those people who likes to get real world photos and model up those scenes, this is for you because it automatically sets up the camera based off that photo. Decal Machine, now this one's interesting because I'm starting to play with it a lot more now. Now that I'm trying to look at Star Citizen and how they're creating ships, it is very decaled heavy. So I'm looking at creating my own decals, especially paneling. I recommend this one hard and we'll do another video on this one very soon as well. Now KitOps is something I've been starting to touch again as well, I'm trying to go back into my roots. This is just a great library of assets and also create your own assets very quickly. Um, I think I did a video on this one not too long ago, so go check that one out. Random flow, oh my goodness, quickly create surface details using mesh. I would definitely go check out Blender Guppy's Instagram just to see how he's making all these wonderful assets in the time lapse. This one's recommended as well. Uh, then there's my stuff. I mean, it's my stuff. It's pretty cool. These are all the kit bashing sets. Um, we've got some scan 3D engines. The sci-fi engines have been pretty popular and oh, the new one's not up there yet. There will be sci-fi buildings coming out. Now, if you're into destroying things, RBD Labs is for you. This add-on is fantastic for destruction, blowing stuff up, breaking it down, make your life easy with this one. One of the big things I found with this is that it resets the rigid body simulations so much better than the natural blender version. Now, one of my all time favorites is Extreme PBR Combo. Massive material library quickly available for you. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Love it. Now, Curtis Holt has a whole bunch of material nodes um, and his own tool, Bygen, and also the brilliant Easy BPY, which kind of makes Python easier. However, ChatGPT is around, so, mm. but I know Modular Metals is on point. Now, Physical Starlight add-on and Atmosphere is one of those great add-ons, kind of gives you extra dimension into your scenes. So this is another one that's highly recommended. It just makes your scenes look so much nicer. Look at that, 10,000 sales. Poof. Now, the very first add-on that I ever bought, Auto Rig Pro. If you hate rigging characters, this one is for you because it automatically does it for you. 31,000 sales. You know that's a good add-on. I know I've pretty much said this with all of them but highly recommended. For those of you who hate dealing with UV maps, UV Packmaster 3 poof, does a lot of the grunt work for you on maximizing UV space. And uh, I voiced some of the tutorials. No need to blow my own trumpet. And last but not least, I'm gonna throw this one in, Michael Thomas. Now he's got some really nice Greeble sets here. Um, we looked at the landing gear not long ago. Well, actually, I think it was last week on how to rig some of these landing gears. Well, I rigged one of them, but you can see just how nice they look. So those are my picks of the Blender Market sale. Go click on the link in the description. And also, once again, let me know what I should be picking up.